So I'm a guide up in northern Minnesota and I take a lot of anglers out who have varying abilities. Some are novices, haven't ever ice fished before, and some have done it a lot. But there's three common mistakes that I see people make, especially when we're chasing panfish, that if, if they could rectify that, they would catch far more fish. So the first one is, is suppressing the bite. So when those fish are under the ice, they're used to seeing microscopic organisms that aren't moving very much at all. And I see people jigging a lot. And when we're trying to catch sunfish and crappies, you don't have to move the rod much at all to get that bait to dance, especially if you're using some of today's plastics or, or synthetic baits. Um, it's very, very concentrated in the movement that you use. So instead of moving the rod up and throwing the bait up, you're actually just shaking it more than anything. Two things that can help. If, if you don't ice fish a lot, to suppress that bite, you can put another hand on your reel and that will actually calm your rod tip and your rod down a little bit and, and get those real concentrated motions. So I'll even do that. Even though I fish a lot, I'll put my hand on the reel just to help with that bounce of the bait. Uh, the other thing that anglers can do is they can, they can put it against you know, their jacket or their side and then incorporating a spring bobber as well. That will suppress the bite in itself. And sometimes we get on bites that are so uh, just rampant that you're catching fish left and right that you get excited and you have to take a deep breath, just slow down a little bit and make sure to make really, really small concentrated motions. Another mistake that I see when anglers are trying to catch, especially panfish, like I said, is embracing the chase and what I mean by that is getting the fish to actually move up in the water column towards your bait. As ice anglers ultimately we need to get the fish to approach our bait but there are very few uh, types of natural forage present in the lakes that stay at one depth and just wiggle in place. They're either moving uh, horizontally or vertically up and down and a lot of times if you can get that fish to start coming up towards your bait it's going to eat. So instead of just holding it in place, even with those concentrated motions, when you see that fish, start to slowly, slowly bring your rod up. And if the fish starts to move, move towards it, a lot of times you're going to catch it. Now, the last thing that I would say is pay attention to the small details. And there's a number of them, but one for instance would be paying attention to the knot on your jig just the position of it and how the jig sits in the water. You can push the knot towards the point of the hook and the jig is going to sit more horizontal in the water. Uh, if you push it more towards the head, it's going to sit straight up and down. But I fish a jig horizontal for sunfish and crappie a lot of the time, I would say most of the time. And each time I catch a fish, I need to make sure that I reposition that knot. Otherwise it's going to reposition that jig when it falls back down again. The third item that anglers can do would be line twist. So ice anglers have started to incorporate inline reels to help eliminate that. Of course, making sure that your drag is set properly on a spinning reel, but you have to check your, your bait too, your, your jig or your spoon when you drop it into the water and just jig it a few times and visually look at it to see if it's tracking in a circle. Because if it is and you stop jigging, it's going to unwind and spin. Anglers do that a lot with jigs. They hardly ever do it with spoons and it's just as important there too. Another small detail would be just watching for ice buildup on your, your, your reel, especially a spinning reel. And when you're fishing outside, even one droplet of water on the bale or on the line guide can, can definitely influence whether or not you catch a fish. If you get one chunk of ice on the bale, your line will catch there. And then when you set the hook on a fish, the bale will pop open and you'll lose the fish almost every time. So if you pay attention to those small details, just those two things, that's gonna help you exponentially to catch more fish on the ice.